Hey guys, it's Busy Sims, and we are back. More Shred Maniacs. It has been like a week and a half, if not two weeks for me. Um, but it's only been a day or so for you. But we're doing Hygie's route finally, so we're done with this shit. Uh, no surprise. Hygie's the most fucking suspicious. Although Dazai was quote unquote the producer, but I still think he was being led to be it and he was just a puppet. Okay, I still think he was a puppet. I, so anyway, um, I actually wanted to compare before uh, we did this and I wanted to see based on the Reddit kind of thread that had the route list and then Atome Kittens. So they both had Tomose first, Akase second. Ah, uh, they, oh, interesting. Atome Kitten did Iochi, Futami, then Ibana. And the route order in the on the Reddit thread is Ibana, Iochi, then Futami. Uh-huh. And then Chigasaki, Gyobu, Dazai, Dazai, Haiji. So it's just those three. It's three, four, and five that they switched around. But I'll be honest. I think I... Mm, I don't know. I, I definitely did not like Futami being the second route we did. I don't know about the fourth. I think my instinct is to be like I think I like the order that's in the like reddit guide better although Iochi and Ibana could have been swapped for me I'm actually I think I like the reddit guide Ibana before Iochi because I mean we did but Iochi needling Ibana, like, oh, right. People have been here before. Right, Ibana. Right, Ibana. You know, it was like, okay. That makes it sound like he's been here before. And then we saw the arm in Tomose's route, so we knew. So, like, either way, I think that goes. But I kind of like the idea that you do Ibana's route. You know he's there. And then you get Iochi, and Iochi's like, right. People have been here before. Right. And you're like, <laughs> that's a little nod because we already know what happened. You know, like, I don't know. I kind of like that. Those could have been switched for me. But I think I do like Futami later. Although the benefit in Atome Kittens doing him the fourth route is then you're like, oh my god, he's the sponsor. You do Ibana. Okay, he's got a secret. Then you do Chigasaki, and he's also a sponsor. At least you have a little gap between them instead of, like, two back-to-back. -back. So, like, hmm. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to see the little difference between those. So, we are, though, going to start Hygie's route. The notes on this are... Obviously, you won't unlock until you finish all of Gyobu and Dazai's endings. So, technically, um, we did all their endings, right? Yeah, well, Gyobu only had one and Dazai had two. Uh, so, that's interesting. So, technically, even though Gyobu, Dazai, and Haiji were the quote-unquote locked routes, there was no way you could get Haiji before Gyobu and Dazai, then it sounds like. Anyway, we've done all those. The truth ends, good and bad won't unlock until you finish one of Haiji's endings. Okay, so after Haiji, there is something additional. All right, and then common route save file. So that's where I've started here. So I'm just going to blow this up a little bit bigger so I can see. And we're going to end the exploration. And we're just going to skip through all this shit. So we're going to be doing skip, skip, skip to my little lot of motherfucking skipping today. So, um... So, obviously, I think there's some truth to his story that he told us that he's been here for a long time and his name and face and everything have changed. Again, it's sus as fuck because in the custody list, he, that page wasn't there and then he added it. Um, You know, he, ha he added that in there and it said, what the hell's his first name? I don't know, but anyway. Oh, Takumi, right? So, I should follow Haiju. We've already done this, so we'll skip through it. Uh, but it had his name in there, and if his name and face changed every single time, then his name wouldn't be in there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not stupid, bro. So, I do think there's some truth behind that. Like, I do think he's been here, and his name and face have probably changed each time. Which would lead me that even though Dazai was acting as the producer, I don't think he really was the real mastermind behind the whole thing. You know what I mean? And... It could be something of the fact that, like, yes, there was another producer, and it's not Haiji. Haiji's just one of the cast members every single time because he's the real mastermind, and the producer is just his puppet type of a thing. All right, I'll take that. But he's the mastermind, whether he's the 
actual legit producer and Dazai was just acting as the mascot temporarily, or he always has a quote unquote producer puppet. You know what I mean? Uh, so. Yeah. But I don't believe for a second he's actually fucking 12. He knows a hell of a lot more. Like, he obviously acts like a dumb kid in the very beginning to give you that false sense of like, oh, well, he's just, oh, just don't worry about it. He's because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's whatever. To brush him off and like not suspect him. It's genius. Don't get me wrong. But then as we've seen in like the later routes, he's so, he knows, and there's too much insight, knows too much, knew the password for the, what fucking shit you just randomly knew that. When you act like you don't know simple kanji that someone your age, okay, obviously I don't. I can't sit there and be like, you should know this. Because, like, I mean, I don't want to say I like Haiji. Ew, I feel gross. Um, I like you too, Haiji. Really? It's great. I feel like later when he reveals himself, we should give him a voice. <laughs> we got to change his voice later when he, like, comes out of the closet as not being 12. Uh, Haiji's always so straightforward. But even though he looks my age, in reality, he's actually an elementary schooler. No, I'm pretty sure he's like a 40-year-old man. Made again. Huh? As you said, you like me, right? Yeah, but... Saying it again did... Oh, that's me. Saying it again is kind of embarrassing, so I'd really prefer not to. Oh, okay then. Haiji then looked down at the display once more and continued to read the picture book concludes their tearful farewell but before he left to go far far away the astronaut said one last thing i'll come see you again no matter what Thomas. and see and then like in the side profile he definitely does not look 12 this he looks like everybody else so like i definitely don't think he is 12 at all and then the astronaut left for earth all alone I wonder if those two met again what do you think Haiji? i don't know that's the end of the story. There's nothing else said. Um, for these kinds of stories, you have to imagine the next part yourself. Haiji, if you wish, you can imagine these two being re reunited. I don't really understand. Or he's literally a fucking Arcadian. He okay, could very well be. We already know Chigasaki's half one. Haiji... Oh, whatever. Nothing to do with me anyways. Nothing to do with him. I guess that's true, but still... Yeah, he's sus as fuck. I don't know why. There's a lot of things, and like, you know. Half of them are gonna be wrong. So, whatever. I just really hope uh, that whatever weird twist Haiji has, it's exciting. And not, like, disappointing. Where you're like, ah, ah, oh. Oh, okay. Like... Gilbo's route, I was just ready for so much shit to come out. And it was like, hey! Oh. I mean, I don't hate Gilbo's route at all. Like, Gilbo's actually kind of fun. But it leads to this point where you're like, it's going to get really exciting, right? And then it just kind of flatlines. And you're like, hey, no, okay. It's pretty norm normal. Wait, what? And it kind of just leaves you baffled. Like, we just, this is, huh? Don's Eyes route was a real fucking roller coaster. Because that takes you, but you're like, um, what now? And honestly, didn't expect Dazai to be the producer. I, I mean, they kind of led you to it, but I was like, nah, I still don't... I still don't believe it fully. I bu obviously, like, you even from his route, it's like, you were being puppeteered into this. You were coerced into this. Um, go to the cooking team, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely coerced into it. So there's something else to that. That is not like... Like, Futami is like a psychopath. Like, yeah, I'm here for the sponsor, whatever. But... That doesn't it seem more like you're following a cult leader and Dazai is not like that. So like it that's why I feel like it's still a little sus. Like it's not cut and dry. The, oh, okay, Dazai's the producer this time and someone else is the producer that time and whatever. They manipulated him into it. And it's not just, oh, we took your eye, so you have to come back. It's the oh yeah, well nobody remembers you, so your girlfriend doesn't fucking remember you. And if she can remember you, then like you know what I mean? Like he was totally conned into it, so and what they always make it sound like is the producer route is not or the person who takes that role is not someone who's like conned into it. It's like, yeah, they find fun in this, you know? So sounds like kind of doesn't fit that profile, so that's why I think there's more to it, but 
you know, not going to begrudge that they give you something slightly interesting like that, where you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Well, that's a little twist in your, like, thing. So. But anyway. Oh, oh sorry. Scared my bird. He's sitting on my chest. Oh, and this is where we saw the monsters and we're terrified and said, they're horrible! And Chikasaki's like, oh, horrible. Poor little Chikasaki. It's just your arm and it looks like squishy space goo. Which sounds disgusting, but you know what I mean? Like, people like slime and it's just, it's pretty. Squishy and weird, but still pretty. Like, it's okay. We love you anyway, Chikasaki. You're soft. <laughs> Literally. Well, his arm is squishy, but you know what I mean. He's he's a little marshmallow, so. We like Chigasaki. I don't like Haiji. I think he's trash. I want to light him on fire. His route better be good, because, like, I'm just creeped out by having to even talk to him at all. Until he comes out and he's like, no, I'm actually a full-fledged adult. I'm like, 30. Okay, fine. That's a little weird. It's also, obviously, like, I don't particularly like Haiji, because, like, he's already the lolly boy he's already like the little baby face one so i'm like no i don't particularly love those characters to begin with and then you have to pretend he's 12 on top of oh hi abana anyway then you have to pretend he's 12 on top of it and it's like ew so i don't even want to do this at all i feel gross i want to peel my flesh off guys also he's a shady motherfucker and i don't trust him as far as i could throw him which is probably like so obviously i don't trust him at all because i don't think i could throw him at all so you know Oh, Eochi and Abana. Probably my two favorites. No one will take Abana's place, though. Abana's always going to be number one. There might be, like, a little, like, one and a half. But, like, I fucking... Listen, he's got glasses and he's a little bit of a bitch. A salty little bitch. See, when Haiji's, like, sideways, when it, his side profile, like, I don't mind him. Because he looks like everybody else, which I think is their little, like, see, he's not really 12. Do you see him from the side profile? He looks at just the same age as everyone else. And the side profiles always look better. Like, everybody's side profile is pretty goddamn good. Most characters, like, I mean, like, Iochi and Abana are pretty good from the front. But their three-quarter side profiles are always way better than, like, the front-facing sprites for, a mo for all of them. Um, but, like, Haiji's front-facing sprite is just... Just wrong. There's just something wrong about it. Like, there'll be his giant eyes that look like buttons. And the giant pupils that just look, are supposed to, I feel like, make him look younger, but they just make him look kind of creepy. So, like, when he does his side profile, that, I'm like, okay, just stand like that, and then I can handle this, because then you look, like, 17 like the rest of us, so, okay. You know, and it, you don't have the creepy front face profile which i'm just no really and actually sometimes when he gives you that salt that like that like oh yeah that sus little face when he's three quarter that one i can handle too like okay do that because that's your shady face and that's like and actually like the first time he showed up with that salty little face we are we in oh yeah we go to the park Oh, okay, we haven't done this yet. I was wandering around the park when I noticed Haiji standing at the edge of a shallow pond. Haiji? Oh, big sis. Haiji responded by turning around with a smile. What are you doing here? I was looking in the water. Oh, really? Is there something in there? No, there's nothing. But it calms me when I look at it. I stared at Haiji as he looked into the water. He appeared so calm. It's a far cry from the typical grade schoolers I knew, right? Because again, I feel like the game's been waving these. There's add another red fucking flag on the pirate ship fleet that's out there in the like. We're not gonna be able to. There's no water left. It's all just red flags and ships. Ig, you're so mature compared to the other grade schoolers that I know. Again, girl. Really? I've never seen you panic, and I think it's amazing you're always so calm. You're far from your parents. Don't you ever feel scared? Not that I don't feel scared. I'm just okay because everyone else is here. That's amazing of you. Exis, are you scared? Haiji turned away from the water to look at me. I could see my reflection in his eyes, and it felt as if he could see right through me. It resembled the quiet and transparent surface of the water, and it gave me the illusion that he could peer into my soul. I am scared. 
but I have to work harder. Haiji, you're younger than me and you're trying so hard. I have to try and keep up with you. If you're scared, there's no need to force yourself. See, like, when he stands like this, he kind of looks like everyone else. He's giving you that little sus face. Like, this I don't mind, because he doesn't, he doesn't look as creepy. Like, I'm going to need you to stand like this or the full-on side profile. Don't give me the front-facing sprite, because the front-facing sprite, again, on most of them is like, eh. But, like, especially on Hygie, you're like, no, it's creepy. Stop. Because it, it does make him look twelve. I'm like, no, I don't like it. Your eyes are white. Like, your pupils are huge. Kind of like hers. They're gigantic and saucery, and it's like, I'm going to need you to tone it down a little. Hygie's straightforward gaze and calm voice seem to make my inner mind calmer. Hygie's so mysterious. Yeah! He does appear mature, but I can't put a finger on it. He's younger, but he's strangely so reliable. Yeah, because he ain't fucking 12. Do I need to keep saying this? We know. I'm just, I really feel like I should have like a, eh, like a little button or something that we, every time there's a red flag that she says where she should be putting pieces together. Oh, what's wrong? I was lost in thought when Haiji moved his face really close to mine. Huh? Haiji, you're too close. I was surprised at how quickly he closed the distance, so I took a step back. But then I didn't feel the ground that I assumed was there. Huh? I'm falling. Did she just fall into the motherfucking pond? Just as I thought that, I felt something supporting my back. Sis, are you okay? Oh my god, are we going to get like a CG with us in his arms? Because that's going to be weird. IG had fallen into the pond, and seeing him that way made me realize what happened. Oh, he protected me? Aw, oh, well, you and I are all wet now. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I tried to get him quickly, but he was holding on to me tightly as I had fallen over and couldn't move. It's okay, and it's beautiful. Well, he said that he gently brushed the hair that was stuck to my face because of the water. Now, this would be, like, oddly romantic if it wasn't creepy. Because, like, when you come out and admit you're not 12, then okay, fine. But, like, right now, it's creepy. It's just water, but looking at it like this makes it so shiny and pretty. How do I describe this feeling? Sis, do you know... Uh, huh? Well, it's okay even if you don't know. IG mumbled something about being in a about it being a pain to think about, and I felt him hold me tighter. Um, Haiji, can you let go of me now? Oh, what's going on? Are you taking a bath together out here? I thought Kyobu was the one in the scene with us, right? Yeah. Kyobu, you came at the right time. Please help me up. Uh, I don't want to get wet. Kyobu held his hand out to me anyway. I can't believe they get that whole black, that, like, was that there should have been a fucking CG there. What a waste of, like, you didn't even put a background, like. IG and I were finally able to get out of the water. Wow, I'm totally wet. I wrung out my dripping skirt, but that certainly wasn't enough. It's the middle of summer, so this should dry out immediately. But that probably won't happen in this temperature. If you wear your coat like that, I think you'll catch a cold. Hmm, you might be right. I was convinced by what Gyobu said and took off the dripping wet coat. Oh, my. Hmm? What's wrong? Come on. I'll lend you my coat. So just wear it on your shoulder for now. Oh, why? Well, whatever. Is my shirt see-through? Going back to the lodging to take a shower. Oh, then I'll go back with you. Either way, I can't stay out like this. Same here. Sorry, Gyobu. I'm sure I'll be sure to get this clean before returning it to you. I don't worry about it. Besides, I always wanted to do this. You know, lend my coat to a cute girl. I'm satisfied I could do that, so let's go back now. Yobu laughed to himself as we were about to head back to the lodging. D doesn't feel lonely at all. Haiji said that while holding my arm as we started to walk, and then he's got this shady look on his face. Is this about what you said earlier? Yeah, we're all together here. Big sis, you're next to me, so the fun feels stronger than my feelings of loneliness. I see. You are strong, Haiji. I patted Haiji's head despite him being much taller, and he held my hand. Oh, sorry, do you not like... Hey, big sis. You're afraid of this world. Want me to make it so it's not scary. Huh? See, that's shady as fuck right there. If you're ever worried, call me. I'll be by your side and protect you from everything. So please don't be scared anymore. Haiji gave a faint smile as he said that. Something about his expression seemed much more mature than usual. 
My heart skipped a beat. You really don't act like a grade schooler, you know that? My shoulders twitched when I heard that from behind. Yeah, because Gyobu's not an idiot like we are. I turned around and saw Gyobu quietly standing there. I'd initially thought that he had already went back to the lodging. I wonder why. Something about you reminds me of Patchwork. Patchwork? What's that mean? Well, what do you think it means? I won't know until you teach me. So pissed. There was an awkward atmosphere between them. It's true that Haiji doesn't really seem like a grade schooler, but... Hmm. I can't say it outright. But you're the one that'll be in trouble, don't you think? Um, even if you don't act what you look like, I don't mind one bit. You don't act what... Even if you don't act what you look like. I mean, I get what she's saying, but that's the weirdest fucking sentence. I just think that, Haiji, you being yourself makes you the most wonderful you can be. Myself. I like you the way you are, Haiji. You're a good kid. You're still in grade school, but you try your best even in this situation. That's why I think you can just be yourself. Sis. Okay, then I'll try to be myself in the way you said. After saying that, Haiji smiled gently. i never seen him smile like that before. Aw, I don't like this at all. But whatever, I'll just leave it at that for now. Never mind that. Let's just head back to the lodging. Better change out of those clothes before you catch a cold, you know. Ugh, now that you mention it. As Gyobu said, I could feel that my body was cold because of the wet clothes. But even if you catch a cold, I'll kindly nurse you back to health. I... would like to avoid that. Aw, why? Yeah, we'd be like, I'd rather have Kaiji do it. No, I'd rather have Gyobu do it. He's a little shady, but... He's... He's harmless, sort of. Clothes feel heavy. Hi, do you're drenched too. Let's go back and change our clothes. Yeah. See, like, his side profile sprite's fine. But again, he looks like... Same age as the rest of us. Hey, don't brush me off! I'll catch a cold if I have to respond to every one of your jokes, Gyobu. We then joked with each other as we hurried back to the lodging. Yay! Go to the kitchen and be with my beloved! Ah! Hello, my love. My salty, salty little marshmallow. Oh, you're so angry. You're so precious and beautiful. You're adorable and you're over the shoulders, but you're like half sprite. It's just... I'm fine with water. Also, my other little precious. And then there's this fuck. Go to the school. Can we already do this? I should go to the school once in a while. There's something I want to think about. Okay, no, obviously. I mean, obviously not. But the school, we went to the school when we were doing our trial of whatever. I made my way toward the school. Walking around like that showed me that my fear of the Arcadians was waning. Maybe it's because no one really talks about them. What I saw during the maintenance all seems like a dream now. This world's completely abnormal, but as long as I complete the dramas, there's nothing dangerous about it. Maybe that's why I feel so at ease. No, Haiji made it less scary, remember? I looked at the school again and saw that it looked identical to Gekkei High. There weren't any students as it stood in total silence. The school. In our world, I wonder if summer vacation's over and school started again. But I'm not there. She's not there either. After coming here, I remembered that one girl who was erased through, our, through the other world's stream. And Dazai. Poor Dazai. I don't care! I'm not gonna listen to you! I don't want to stay in this world any longer! I had enough! She's from the next class and a friend of a friend. We never were alone together, but we did hang out. I think she was a bad person. But after she arrived at the dead end, she was erased. And from my memory, I'd forgotten about her existence until the moment the director showed the past stream. I don't know how the other world stream is messing with people's memories and data, but I found that to be mortifying. How could I forget about a friend? How could you forget about your boyfriend? I don't like this route, dude. It's not, you know what, it's it's not fair after Dazai when you found out everything and now you're here and you're like, that better be like, that true end or whatever better be back to us being with Dazai because like, what the fuck, he doesn't deserve this. 
Looking at the school reminded me vividly of the time I spent with her. I'll never forget. These bitter feelings lingered as I held my arm up. I looked at my bangle, with that I was able to view most of the previous episodes, and I could use it to see which dramas she'd taken part in. And I don't have the courage to. Seeing her give up, full of despair, I, w I would want to give up too. I don't think I can do it. Sorry, Yuki. I put down my arm, and then I heard someone. This is Sina. Hey, G. I thought you were playing games at the lodging. No fun playing alone, so I came out here. What about you? What are you doing? I was just doing some thinking. You're bored. I can take you somewhere nice. It's right there. Um, it's not that I have free time or anything. It's right over here. He's not listening. Oh, well. Yeah, he's not listening because he's a psycho. Taking us to the meadow. IG held me by the hand as we arrived at a nearby storage. This is the nice place. Bless you. Yep. I think it was used in a drama, but it doesn't really feel like a nice place. You okay? You right? You okay, buddy? What was that? Okay, sorry. Um, I don't know if he was just sleeping and like making weird noises in his sleep. Uh, but it was just I wanted to kind of move him and check on him. But if you disturb him while we're recording and he's in his rest state, then he needs to poop. So I was like, I'm gonna go give him a break and just. Make sure he's okay, because he was just like, <laughs> and I don't know if it was like, I'm like, were you just dead asleep and having weird dreams? Or like, was he breathing weird? Like, I don't know. He seems okay, though. Hey, right, buddy. Were you just sleeping and making pee in your sleep? I don't know. I got worried. I got worried because our tiny bird's not doing good. But he's more like, his legs bother him. Like, he's got bird arthritis. So, like, it's not like breathing problems or anything, but like, Neelix was just worrying me. Yeah, I don't know. It could just be bad air today, huh? You okay? Will you just peep it in your sleep? Like kitty cats or puppy dogs when they're running? Like dogs barking in their sleep chasing bunnies? You were just, uh, peeping in your sleep? Were you having a birdie nightmare? Okay, now? <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. I think it was used in a drama, but it doesn't really feel like a nice place. Why'd you continue to take me further into the storage, despite my confusion? There was a large door there. I wondered what it was, but Haiji opened it without hesitation. Huh? The fact that he knows about- oh, come on. I mean, yeah, you could find out by exploring, but I just don't trust this fucker. Beyond the door was our original world. Or rather, it was a vast scenery that made me think it was. A gentle breeze blew through those plains that stretched out as far as I could see. Huh? How? I looked behind me by reflex. The door was open like it was suspended in midair. I couldn't understand what was going on, but it looked like the storage door uh, bent time and space to connect to the planes. You know, it's kind of mysterious how the storage leads to the planes, but it's kind of the same as the dramas. You get transported in those two. Yeah, there's nothing that's too strange in this world. Anything goes. I laughed with a bit of exasperation, and my eyes met with Hygie's place nice yeah it is it was surprising oh it was surprising but it's beautiful i was looking around and i happened to find it i thought you'd like it here i do like it thank you that's great um it's okay to touch the grass i checked so it's okay you can sit down right there i just showed me by example by taking some of that green grass and sitting down it it doesn't feel weird doesn't on over on over. Haiji waved me over, so I also sat down in the grass. It was just as soft as it looked, and it became a sort of gentle cushion. See, when he gives you, when he's doing this, it's a very sus and like, come on over, everything will be fine. And you're like, I don't trust you. Feels like we're buried under the grass. Yeah, there are flowers over there. It really looks like the plains here. I know, right? <laughs> What's wrong? Sis, I wonder if you've cheered up. Haiji's faint smile made me feel dazed for a moment. Did I look like I was feeling down? Yeah. About stuff, right? I was. What did I think of? What did I think of him? He was taciturn and didn't talk about himself, but his mannerisms were that of a child, and it made sense that he was a grade schooler. Does it, though? 
His mannerisms are that of a child. Not really. Sometimes they're not, though. That's why I thought that maybe he didn't really care what others thought of him. You were observant and you noticed. Thank you. You're welcome. You can sort of tell what you're thinking sometimes. I don't know about all the things. About the others, though. Everyone keeps talking about complicated stuff. <laughs> if you don't understand, you can always come over and ask me. Hmm, I'm okay. Not knowing doesn't hurt me. <laughs> I guess you're right. But if you do need to know, tell me. Sure. Oh, that's right. Now let's go and watch a video together. Found an interesting one. What is it? Hold on. Um. Ig awkwardly used his bangle bangle to play back a video. The screen was minimized, so it made so I made it bigger so that we could watch it together. This is a video about space. This video. On July twentieth, nineteen sixty nine, mankind landed on the moon. July 20th, 2108, 139 years later, mankind descended upon the moon once more and began the long-awaited Morpheus Project. I mean, I told you we're on the- Well, we already know we're on the moon base. We found that out in Dazai's route, right? The years of- Oh, ten years have passed since then, and the satellite Morpheus takes its current form and begins to orbit the Earth. Due to its moon-like appearance, Morpheus is called the second moon. Morpheus continues to shine brightly as the relay point for the base being built on the far side of the moon. Okay, there was a moon base. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I knew there was like the second moon, but I'm like, there was a base on the moon. And that's where, okay, yeah, that's exactly. I think, again, that was absolutely confirmed by Dazai's route saying we're on the moon base, which is what I, anyway. I don't know why I'm like, did I forget that again? Yes, but, but yes, I was right about one thing. We were on the motherfucking moon base. And you knew it had something to do with this, obviously. I mean, hi. But they didn't, wouldn't tell you about that before you got here, like in the very beginning, but... And once it's been completed and begins operation, all of the world's information will be gathered as one. Unless, again, I mean, I feel like Haiji is absolutely the mastermind behind all this. But it could be because, again, like, something about Morpheus crashed into the moon base or whatever. We're gonna find that out. Um, Again, I forgot what happened, but, like... If all the people who technically, when you're here, you're not really here at your data, right? And all the people who got dead ends don't really get dead ends. They're not really dead. They're just, their data's kind of stuffed someplace, right? Because that was the whole point in Iochi's route is we were staying there. We were helping them get the data out and sending it back and like trying to get all the pits, bits and pieces of people back. So like, yeah, dead end might scramble your data, but you still exist. Your body's still on Earth. Here, you're just ones and zeros, kind of. So, like, again, Hygie, the I think that's what the Arcadians are. They could just be full-on aliens, but aren't they just possibly bits and pieces of the people who were on the moon base or the Morpheus Project, like, when it crashed and burned or whatever, and they were, like, somehow obliterated into data or something? You know what I mean? Weirder shit's happened. Sci-fi, you know. And maybe Hygie's just an amalgamation of those people. That's why he changes every time. Or something. I mean, some something something aliens. Something something people. Data. Arcadians are aliens or Arcadians used to be people. And this is all being done to try to make them more make them people again. But Hygie is fucked in the head and he's the mastermind of the whole thing. Anyway, there you go. Something, something like that. Fill in blanks. Anyway. I've seen this one before. It's about when we had two moons. Really? Did you watch the whole thing? The whole thing? Isn't this the whole thing? Oh, there's more. Watch. Pictures showed outer space, and there was a crowd surrounding a few astronauts. Please welcome the astronauts of Japan who create this path to a new year. The Morpheus Project will become a giant step for the NOR... N-O-I-R-C, whatever. Norick. Nork. To make history. The N-O-R-I-C would have been so much easier to say than the N-O-I-R-C, but whatever. Now let's hear a few words from the crew. The screen switched and it faced a smiling man with a microphone wearing a jacket with a logo on it. Original Hygie? She has a question mark. It's an honor to be part of this historical monument moment. And by the time I return to Earth, Japan, and the world will have gone through some major changes. I'll work hard at the at the base every day while looking forward to that day. 
Applause and cheers erupted. The astronauts that were in the back, sh back shook hands as they disappeared into the building. See, the question mark, she had dot dot question mark. He looks familiar. Is it because it was Hygie? He's been here for like 100 years. What was that? I think that's the end of this video. Big sis. My head hurts. <laughs> sis, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? See, but uh, this is how we know it's a memory. We remember, we remember, probably remember seeing this video. Sorry, it suddenly started hurting. I pressed down on my temples and took deep breaths. Unless we're not real either. Why now all of a sudden? I looked down at a pain and then I felt something warm. A hand wrapped around my back gently patted me. There, in pain, go away. Slowly my pain seemed to leave my body and vanish into thin air as it moved further away. That's suspicious. Oh, I think I'm okay now. Wait. I took a few more breaths and confirmed that I had calmed down. IG then let go of me. Thank you. I feel better now thanks to you. It was a bit embarrassing because he was practically hugging me. Pain really does fly away. It's so interesting. You said that earlier, but what is that? This pain, pain, go away thing? Yeah, is that some kind of jinx? It's an old jinx. You're supposed to chant it when someone gets hurt. I didn't think it would actually work. But it sounds like ye oldie times. Like a hundred years ago or some shit. I'm just saying. Oh, I never heard of that, but it sounds interesting. I'll try it out next time. And she's like, oh, I just don't understand grade schoolers. It's kind of like everybody going, I don't understand Zoomers and Gen Alpha. I don't understand any of these motherfuckers. Like, you know what I mean? Um, it's like every generation doesn't understand the one after them because it's all the new slang and new things. So like, she's like, I 12 year olds. I, I don't get what goes on in elementary school these days. Uh, but I don't think it's that. I think it's just because he's like a hundred fucking years old. Yeah. So you don't know about it. The strength of the wind also changed here and a strong gust blew through. Also, you might have control of our bangles, which you can make my pain go away. Not a surprise, I looked up at the sky and I saw the two moons looking down on us. Because this is the world he remembers. It's the same as in the video. Yeah. Same sky. I wonder why it's the same from 30 years ago. It's strange. Because... Kaiji remembers 30 years ago! Is it the preference of the person who made this town? Or the producer? Although it does look pretty. There's no point in thinking about it now. Mastermind! Hygie! Really a 30-some-odd-year-old person. Hey, Hygie, next time, how about we come here with everyone for a picnic? Eating lunch here sounds fun, don't you think? Everyone? I didn't expect to see Hygie frown a bit. I want to keep this place a secret between you and me. Huh? Our, our little secret. I'm so surprised I stared at his face. It was the first time I'd seen Hygie in a bad mood, really, because he's made that bitch face a couple times so far. It was at least the second time. In this path. He's so resistant to the idea. All right, then. Let's keep it our secret. Yeah. He smiled again, and I breathed a sigh of relief. A secret like this was completely innocent. And I think someone might find it by coincidence, just like you did. You have to give up if that happens. Sure, but let's keep it our secret until then. I always wanted a secret. Really? Another one? Because I'm pretty sure you got a bunch. Really? Why's that? Because you can't have secrets by yourself. Ah, oh, okay. I wanted a secret. You can't have secrets by yourself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything you keep to yourself is also a secret. I felt confused when I heard that reason. Yeah, because that's sus as fuck. Someone to make a secret. Someone who doesn't know the secret. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a secret. Oh, I see. You're like, I don't see. That does not make any sense. Yeah, if everyone found out about this place, I guess it wouldn't be much of a secret. Some people can't know about it. Uh, okay, yes. If everyone knows, it's no longer a secret yet. But if no one knows but Hygie, it's still also a secret. As long as one person knows, it's a fucking secret. That's why I always wanted to make someone who can make a secret with me. Well, I always wanted someone, not to make someone. I read that weird. Wow. I always wanted someone who can make a secret with me. And the first secret I ever made was between me and Big Sis. I feel so happy. 
Oh, but there's one more secret about the reenactment of that drama. IG had pretended that I pushed him out the window as he fell out by himself in order to get my voice back. Everyone thought that I did and praised me for my decision, but that wasn't the truth. Oh, right. IG, at that time, I wanted to talk about that, but Hygie just put his finger toward his lips. Secrets have to be kept quiet. I don't know who might be listening. <laughs> then I'll try to make sure no one finds out. Yeah, let's keep our secret. Hygie repeated the word secret often, and I couldn't help but laugh. No, it's kind of creepy, girl. It ain't funny. Keep our secret space. Our secret. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, this I saw go to the school, and then I saw go with Hygie in and, and the guide. So, yeah, this is... Oh, we only get that option. I don't want to go with Hygie. I want to be with you, Hygie. Will you go with me? You sure it's okay with me? Instead of Iochi? I really would rather go with Iochi or Ibana. Or both. Than you. Iochi's fine too, but I'd prefer to be with you, Haiji. You're easy to talk to, but Iochi's so pretty to look at, and Ibana is really difficult to talk to, but we love him anyway. Okay. I didn't think you'd choose me, so I feel a bit happy. I had no fucking choice. The game forced me into this. I was gonna do it anyway because we're in your route, but I hate every second of it. I'm curious about what he's hiding, so the mystery of the story I'm here for, but I really don't like Haiji at all. So, like, I want, I'm want. i really hoping that later when it's revealed, you're actually a 30-year-old man, you were that astronaut guy, and, like, you've been here for, like, 50 fucking years or some shit. Like, actually, technically, you'd be probably, like, in your 60s. Whatever, you've been here for 30 years, and you're really a 30-year-old man, like, technically now 60, I guess, turned into digital data from whatever happened, the explosion or the crap whatever and blah 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 etc etc then i'll be like okay fine maybe then maybe i won't hate you so much but right now i really fucking don't like you you creep me out again it's the 12 year old thing also he's just a creepy little bastard but like i feel like if it was gyobu being creepy and sus you're like yeah you're creepy but like whatevs i'd get over it but like there's something about his little face that's creepy, especially in this front-facing sprite. I'm like, no, I'm not into it. You're pretending he's 12 right now, so that makes it even more disgusting. And now I gotta go, eh, no, I'm not here for any of this. No, 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 don't like it at all. I don't hate him with the passion of a thousand fiery suns, like Finn or Toma. Okay. But I still don't like you, and I don't want to be here. So, like, no. Yeah. His innocent smile made me feel that I made the right decision. No, no, wrong, all wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong decision. I sometimes notice this, but Haiji seems to crave attention. Part of it's because he's in grade school, but no, no, not at all. When he worked as part of the cooking team, he insisted on joining or calling me Big Sis. Moreover, I felt he truly cherished the time he spent with me. Yeah, that I believe. That's why I want to protect him. Uh, Haiji fiddled with the app while smiling, and it made me smile too. Ugh, you're being so taken in by his bullshit. I don't like it. That's creepier. And thanks for waiting. There wasn't anything strange in the perimeter. No Arcadians, either. Same. I told you it'd be safe, didn't I? Yochi and Ibana returned, and we went on to choose our teams. I want to be with you. Both of you. Let he, let's let Haiji go by himself, and maybe he'll fall and die. <laughs> it's awful. And I'll share the screen for the app. Exist. Tap on the illustration you like. I hope it'll be Haiji. That was my hope as I tapped the illustration of the cat. Underneath the picture was the word Haiji. Um, hi. Obviously rigged. And... Like, it's not like you choose and then, oh, it just, the game puts you in this path. Because, you know, whatever. He absolutely fucking rigged it. Because we know. You know he's involved with this fucking world somehow. <laughs> it's written so cutely. And it's set. I'm going first. You sure are quick. And be sure to wait in the classroom. Okay, so Sayana and Haiji will be going as the pair. Did it, big sis? Y yeah. Ibana and Iochi went into the school at different intervals. We were waiting to start the test of courage, but I giggled while I looked at Haiji. Did you cheat there? <laughs> what do you mean? Haiji laughed in a way, affirming it. Haiji knows how to play pranks like this, too. Haiji knows how to play prank with tech shit, okay? I'm just saying. That's far above a 12-year-old. We waited to start the test of courage, but both of us were giggling next to each other. Ugh. 
Shall we go now? I might get scared and scream, but I hope you'll be prepared. Hey, and I'll watch from next to you. You're just gonna watch? I'd feel better if you screamed with me. And I'll scream. <laughs> Aren't you afraid of ghosts, Saiji? What are ghosts like? I don't understand them. There was something odd about that. Haiji often talked like that. Things that normal people would know were completely alien to him. Again, because he's an alien or he was that astronaut dude. I don't know. I just feel like when we watched that, we had a weird memory. You know what I mean? Um, He's that astronaut dude, died here, and is trying to reconnect with the person he was. He doesn't remember how to be per a human. But it could also that could also be the same thing as being an Arcadian where either they were human and are trying to remember how to be humans because their data is all corrupted or they're aliens trying to learn how to be human for an alien invasion or some shit. <laughs> like, I don't We're basically, however way you look at it, you're trying to learn how to either be human or be human again. So I can't ask him why he doesn't know. I still wondered why, however. Although I felt a slight doubt about this, I took a while to answer. If you think you're scared, that's a ghost. It could be a shadow or a person. Anything can look like a ghost. Oh, really? Well, why do they turn into a ghost? That's hard. We talked cheerfully as we walked together. Nothing scary would ever approach us. That's what it felt like then. Who do you trust? Okay. So now this is the chapter... Where usually we kind of split. Yeah, because this is where... So I think it's going to basically be... Hopefully we don't have to go through the same damn thing. I I think it would be similar to Da's Eyes. Because I don't think we ever found the, like, the custody list. So it should be exactly the same as Da's Eyes. Oh, good God. Da's Eyes, why won't you say anything? I don't want to read the same thing again. So May wasn't a cast member from way in the past or the previous one. Then how does he know about the sponsor or how the bouncer works? That sure is interesting. Yo, boo, I don't like splitting hairs to get at people, but if you want to go that route, I have something to say. You also knew about this for a while. You told it to us in a suggestive way. Why'd you do that? Again, I don't like the fact that this is basically almost the exact same fucking scene, and we have to goddamn do it three times. I don't like that. That annoys me. We asked your reason and you changed the subject. If you want to say does I suspicious, the same can be said for you. Because it's only like a couple of lines difference. It's like, just what the fuck? Okay, cool. Thank God it was just that. Because I know that at least between Gyobu and Dazai, the difference was we didn't have the custody list, so they had to change that a little. They did not need to make you read the same thing. They could have just done like this. A couple of lines are slightly different. This one should be very similar, though, because we don't have the custody list, so it should basically be does I until we hit like the little bits and pieces where maybe we spend more time with Haiji instead of this but again now that we're here okay good because like I skipped through that and does but that annoys me I'm like I basically read the same fucking shit like not that long ago like I don't want to read the same things over and over I don't know why but it bothers me it's like yeah 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 I read the same thing it's like when they do flashbacks and they like you do a couple of lines and you're fine but then it's like like us, we're having this conversation with Banjo right now, right? Okay, Tomosa and I are having this conversation. She goes into her room, and then we flash back on the entire fucking conversation. It's like, it was two seconds ago. Like, it's not like, oh, it was in chapter four, and we're remembering. I want to choose Dazai. Or Gyobu. I don't want to choose Haiji, but... Haiji. Big sis, I'll protect you until the day you can return to where you want. You don't have to remember anything. Just surround yourself with gentle things and enjoy life that way. See, that sounds sus as fuck and, like, culty. That should be good enough, right? Exists Sena. Why? If we hadn't talked at that time, I might still be able to believe. I suddenly felt afraid of everything. Believe? Forget? To remember? I thought I'd decided everything for myself, but it was all being taken away with a smile. And then, I, I don't know, does it matter? Okay. All right, cool. So that was just a little bit different, and now this is going to be mostly the same, and then we get to Hygie's route, and then, yeah. No. Oh. No, don't let 
look at me like that with those sad eyes and that sweet little face. Uh, R. Redacted. Interesting. Okay. Alright. A week had passed since quarantining those three. There was a gloomy air about the lodging, and one of the teams and none of the teams were functioning as they were. However, Arcadia remained unchanged and continued like it normally would. And setting aside the producer, I get the feeling that the sponsor isn't among them. Yeah. Because the materials are still being provided? And that's not enough to conclude that yet. Says a sponsor! It matches with the testimonies of the Arcadians. The ice cream vendor said that he got more product in three days ago. I see. So what do we do next? If we have to choose between the sponsor and producer, then I'd say the producer is more urgent. There's no point in accusing the sponsor. We have to find the producer. Are you just going to ignore the sponsor? I didn't say I'd ignore them, but there's no way to figure out who it is. Well, it's just a stopgap measure. Huh. And that isn't a very... That isn't a very nice way of saying it, Bonjo. Akase, since you talk the loudest, you should bear the responsibility to match that. And we wouldn't make any progress if people who spoke softly like me or people without opinions were the ones leading. However, I'd recommend changing course rather than playing the blame game if we choose wrong. Hey, the quiet one talked out loud for once. Weren't you against the quarantine? Well, um, anyone want tea? Please raise your hand if you do. I called out loudly, and most people, while surprised, raised their hands. I'll make some now, so please wait. I declared that and went to the kitchen. <sighs> I knew that changing the subject wouldn't solve anything, but when I heard that conversation, I couldn't bear to keep listening. In order to move forward, I boiled some water and prepared to make the tea while thinking about things. What should I do? Just fall in love with Dazai again. Listen! Okay, like, Ibana, Iochi, and Dazai are my favorites. I do like Chikasaki a lot. But, like, Dazai deserves the world because he really has spent this whole entire game letting you fall in love with anybody else but himself and suffering. Okay? But as much as I do love Dazai, I still love Ibana the best. <laughs> Listen, I have a type, and it's the salty little glasses, boys, okay? He's got glasses, and he's a salty little marshmallow. That's exactly what I like, okay? And Iochi's like a fabulous, flirty little whore, so I kind of generally do like those characters most of the time. And then Dalzai's just sweet and adorable. But, like, to be fair, he's actually, like, the sweet, quiet one. Which, in reality perfect in most games i'm like they just they don't stand out as much to me even though you always like them you're like no i like their routes they're just not usually the standout character because again i like the salty glasses ones right but dazai deserves the world so we can't not love him tomose is on iffy ground all right like anyway most of the characters are kind of like in the middle akase's fine i do like chikasaki but Tommy, I think I might have liked better if I wasn't just annoyed with where we ended up doing his route. Like, I don't think he was terrible. I don't like Haiji. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I want to know what's going on in the game. That's the only reason I'm here. Otherwise, I would have been like, we're good. We're done. Anyway, by the time the tea was served, everyone was talking about something different. And that brought me relief. I know we're not quite at time, but I had to stop before, and I'm not exactly sure time-wise where we are, so I am going to stop here, though. It's going to be a little bit slightly under, but it's okay. But uh, just so this doesn't go on too, too long, because um, I don't have too much longer. I think we're just a few minutes under time, so we'll be fine. But anyway, we'll continue. Hi, G. Ew. Anyway. <laughs> I will see you next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.